Hello and welcome to Disney Movie Investigation. If this is your first time watching, welcome to the show. Each week we take a look at a movie that is featured on Disney+. Plus. On this episode, we are continuing our look at the movies featured on Disney Star as we look at the 2006 romantic comedy A Good Year starring Russell Crowe. And if you are enjoying these videos, I do ask that you please hit that subscribe button. That way you will never miss another episode. But for now, sit back and enjoy this episode of Disney Movie Investigation. Amazing! So like I said, we're taking a look at the movie A Good Year. This was released on October 27th, 2006, and it was directed by Ridley Scott. It is based on the novel by Peter Mayle, and the production companies are Fox 2000 Pictures, Scott Free Productions, Dune Entertainment, Indigenous Film Partners, and Major Studio Partners, and it is distributed by 20th Century Fox. This did a this one had a budget of thirty five million dollars, and unfortunately, it only made forty two point one million. So the de development of this movie is that Ridley Scott owned a house in Providence for fifteen years, and was inspired to wanting to film a movie there. President of Scott Free Production Eliza LZ recommended the books of Peter May Mail. Peter Mail had written a series of books set in the south of France, and the two had actually worked together before in the 1970s on advertising and commercials. Mail did not want to write a screenplay, but instead wrote a new novel after discussing the plot with Ridley Scott. Screenwriter Mark Klein was brought on to write the screenplay, and then Ridley Scott had brought in Russell Crowe to play the protagonist, and this was a reunion between the two as they had previously worked together on the movie Gladi Gladiator. This was also a change, as this was a relatively mellow role for Crow, who has been known for his high-intensity drama or action movies. And this also helped to the public to see Crow as somewhat different than the hostile hothead that it, he had been previously perceived as. So let's take a look at the cast. So we have Russell Crowe, who plays Max Skinner. Albert Finney, who plays Uncle Henry. Marion Cattall, who plays Fanny Chanel. Abby Cornish, who plays Christy Roberts, and Freddie Highmore, who plays young Max Skinner. In terms of the plot, after years of no contact with his uncle Henry, London banker and bond trader Max Skinner learns that Henry has died, so Max inherits a chateau and vineyard in Providence, France. Max spends part of his childhood there learning Maxisms and how to win and lose and honoring his killer instincts at chess, which serves him well in the world of finance. Max goes to France, insists on selling the property, as he, and after he spends a few days there getting the property ready to show. Memories, a beautiful woman, and a young American who says she's met Henry's illegitimate daughter interrupts his plans. Did Max, the boy, know things that Max, the man, has forgotten? Now we must learn if what uh, Max has learned growing up will resurface in Max's adult life. Would I recommend this movie? I think this movie is good. Uh, I like the character acting with Russell Crowe. Like we kind of talked about earlier, it is uh, different than his previous like gladiator type movies. Um, it's a simple movie with a simple plot. Uh, we've seen kind of these movies before where the workaholic uh, goes back to his roots and kind of relearns something about his past. Um, I do like the character scenes, especially the scene where they are having dinner with the caretaking staff. I think is one of the best scenes in the movie. Um, overall, I would recommend this movie as I think it's a nice, simple movie that is enjoyable and it's a nice change of pace from the overall epic movies that are uh, kind of present nowadays. So it's like I said, it's nice, simple, and enjoyable. So yeah, unfortunately, there's not a lot to talk about with this movie. It, like I said, it's nice and simple. Um, so thank you for joining us on Disney Movie Investigation. Uh, please stay tuned for our next video as we are taking a look at the 2006 drama and. Annapolis, starring James Franco. But until next time, I hope you have a magical day, and we will see you real soon.